What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with Steve Jobs walked off stage of this year's Worldwide Developers Conference keynote. You could hear a collective groan from the Verizon Sprint customers out there who are hoping and hoping that the one more thing was going to be the iPhone on multiple carriers that was finally going to be set free from the confines of AT&T. However, those hopes were dashed. And I want to talk about those a little bit because I get email after email every day asking, what about the rumors of the iPhone on Verizon? What about the rumors of the iPhone even on Sprint? So a bit of a background, uh, the United States currently uses two wireless technologies, one called CDMA, which Verizon and Sprint use, and one which is a bit more global called GSM, which AT&T and T-Mobile use. Now the iPhone currently is obviously a GSM technology, and there have been rumors obviously about the iPhone being tested on Verizon, and with Apple, generally where there's smoke, there's fire, and those rumors have been severing for quite a bit. Uh, however, I don't think that we're going to see an iPhone on Verizon until the fourth generation wireless technology comes into play. And not the 4G that Sprint is using. Sprint is using a, essentially a CDMA-based fourth generation technology. However, AT&T and Verizon are using the same fourth generation technology. It's something called LTE or Lite, you may hear it called, uh, which is GSM-based. They both can be using the same technology for a fourth generation phone, which only makes sense that that would probably be the right time for a cross-carrier phone. Apple wouldn't have to go through and do all the R&D of testing a new device. It could be the same device being used on both carriers. However, there's a problem about supporting legacy things, so whether or not you're gonna be able to do voice over uh, LTE, whether or not they're gonna have to have a CDMA radio in it anyway for data, we just don't know. But I would expect that we're finally going to see an iPhone on Verizon with the next generation. I think the iPhone 4 is going to be the last carrier-exclusive phone uh, that we see. So I don't know if that helps you guys, if you've been wondering, if you've been waiting, but I would not expect a Verizon iPhone anytime in 2010, uh, but certainly I would expect one probably into 2011, and possibly even one on Sprint as well. So I don't mean to dash your hopes, but I wanted to talk about it and address it a little bit. Uh, there's been a lot of concerns about AT&T's network, and I think Apple almost addressed them with the iPhone 4, with those new antennas around the side, which supposedly are multiple, multiple times stronger on the current antennas that we have right now, so hopefully that'll reduce the dropped call issues. So what do you guys think? Are you disappointed? Do you not care about an iPhone on Verizon? Are you finally just gonna dump Verizon or Sprint and go over to AT&T for an iPhone 4 anyway? Really curious to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, I'm John Redinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.